How do you disappear a highway overpass without disturbing the busy and surrounding neighborhood? Many machines in a tight work window. Welcome to Hanover, a lovely city in northern Germany, about halfway between Amsterdam and Berlin. Like any other German city, there's beautiful architecture and beer all over the place. But you know better than to think that's why we're here. Fast-paced demolition is the name of today's visit. The company in question is Hagedorn, the demolition behemoth well known for complex demolition projects across Germany including large power plant implosions. The whole building's been blown open. The core's exposed. Nice. When planning our 2025 Europe trip, I learned that Europeans have Easter Friday and Easter Monday off. Initially sad I'd see no machines for four days, my frown turned upside down when I learned Hagedorn had a large overpass demolition project planned for the long weekend. Jackpot. Why Easter weekend? It's all about minimizing disruption. To remove the overpass, a complete shutdown of surrounding roads and rail lines was necessary, but only during a holiday period. But before we watch excavators feast on concrete, let's discuss why this is happening in the first place. The project is an effort to replace a highway built in 1954. The modernization calls for replacing the 69 year old, roughly 900 meter bridge with a new tunnel which will make mobility easier and eliminate noise for the surrounding area. But the artery is critical, so traffic could not stop during construction. Large contractor Poor constructed a 940 meter temporary bridge parallel to the existing bridge to keep everyone moving. With traffic elsewhere, the old bridge can go, making way for the new 1,100 meter tunnel. Now let's get to site, beginning with some prep work Hagedorn put in before the party started. That is a demolition project. And the machines are working this time. Let's go. Let's go. Can you move this barricade for us? She's gonna dismantle the whole thing. Very good. Love that. All right. Okay. Look at that. The golden arches are right there too. Yeah, they're not wasting any time. To prepare for the demolition, they spent the past few days bringing in dirt and putting it underneath the concrete structure they are demolishing. That is to prevent the concrete structure from falling, damaging the existing road that I'm standing on that needs to be open again Monday, and more importantly, preventing any vibration because right here are people's houses, and we don't wanna be messing with that as we are getting rid of the bridge. So that dirt allows all of the concrete to fall nice and gently, allows the excavators to work at the bridge elevation and demolish this very effectively without any other damage to the area. As discussed, this is a temporary closure. We're trying to do the work as fast as possible. We only have Easter weekend to do it once Monday rolls around. All of this has to be gone and traffic, both rail and vehicle and pedestrian 
will have resumed. So to make that transition as easy as possible to prevent any damage to the rail line and to the asphalt, the pavement, sidewalks, etc., they have put down these wood crane mats. So we have a lot of dirt around here. And then we have these wood crane mats they've laid all the way through this project so that the excavators are not tracking on the asphalt. They're just tracking on this wood. And then once the work is done, they'll pick all of this up and it'll be good to go. Like most structures being demolished, this one is comprised of two key ingredients, one concrete, two steel. As the excavators are munching away, other excavators are pulling this concrete out and separating the steel. All of this will eventually be recycled. The concrete will be recycled, crushed. The steel will be recycled, melted down, formed into new steel. They're not going to do all of the traditional processing here on site because of the time restriction. They're going to haul a lot of this off and process it off site. But the more they can pull out here, the better. So here is a pile of steel that will be loaded separately from the concrete to get out of here. Like any demolition project, especially European demolition projects, work tools are all over this site. The primary machines, those 50 ton excavators, the 352s, have the big processors on them that can munch through the concrete and cut the steel reinforcement without any problem. Those machines are in charge of just making their way through the structure as fast as possible. Then we have all these other machines coming in behind them to do more of the cleanup work. So one of the key tools for that is buckets. We have all sorts of different buckets here on site. Then we have another sort of processor. This one can again cut through steel and munch through concrete to break up some of the bigger pieces coming off here so they can load it in more effectively. And then we have hammers as well on site to remove some of the foundation pieces, but they're not really using this. They're using those processors primarily. The nice thing is all of these machines have oil quick on them. So he can take the processor off, grab the bucket, take the bucket off, grab the hammer all within about a minute. A stone's throw away is the Woodstock restaurant and bar, and we have local Germans drinking beer, of course, watching the show. With the locals settling in with their beers and brats, let's get demolishing.
polished material is being hauled off in two ways. One, we have these boxes here, these containers. The 336 right there is using the grapple to load the steel into these green containers. Then we have a tractor with a container trailer that will pick up this container, this dumpster here, and take it to an off-site area. And then for the concrete, the rubble, the tractor also has a dump trailer. That machine is loading the material into the dump trailer, and it's also hauling that off. Tractors and trailers are very common in Germany. They're very versatile. They can get around tight areas, urban environments like this, a lot better than articulated trucks, a lot cheaper than articulated trucks. So that is the standard hauling method here in Germany. Before the night work officially kicks off, a quick fuel and dinner break is in order. While they top up the machines, let's walk to the other side of the project and check out the temporary bridge. Right. Above me here is the temporary structure to route traffic around this work area while they're demolishing that permanent structure while they're building the tunnel. So it's right above us. It's very pretty. We can show you the drone shot of the traffic cruising right over. Now this structure, because there's only so much space, it's very close to the old existing structure. It's only a few meters gap in between both. So they have put this 336 in between there to remove the first few meters of bridge in between the old structure and the new structure so that they don't damage the new structure, don't endanger traffic, and then the bigger 50 ton excavator can come through and knock out the rest. All right, with the sun setting and dinner wrapping up, it was time to catch some night work. Na -na 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 -night! Night! And that's everything you need to know about making a bridge disappear over Easter weekend in a German city. Now, unfortunately, we had to go to Belgium the next day, but Hagedorn's great videographer stuck around. So here is some footage of the finished product.
Still moving. 